Hey silent investors and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to talk about ticker SNDL Sundial growers and the reason why is because this is one of those stocks that slowly started to grow. We had a little bit of a movement and a lot of people are really hyping it up, but I'm here to tell you be careful. Okay, this is one of those stocks that we're going to talk about why it could possibly get delisted that's right so before i continue guys if you guys are new here i do give away 25 dollars. all you have to do is subscribe and stay active here on my channel on top of that guys we will now we partner up and we're giving you four free stocks all i have to do is use my referral link down in the description below sign up deposit 100 dollars, and literally you get four free stocks and you guys can see right here as an example these are the three stocks that i got that are literally like 100 dollars, guys and this is amazing okay i get stocks at around 30 dollars, 50 dollars on weeble so if you guys want to use another uh, brokerage, you know, platform app, Weeble is really a good app to use. So definitely use it. Link will be down in the description below. So what is going on with this stock? Why is there so many people hyping it up? Just very quickly, let's just see the graph so you guys can get a better understanding. So you guys can see it was like around 20 cents around that area. And then you guys can see that it started going up, almost reaching a whole dollar. Okay, it is absolutely crazy. And you guys can see over here uh let's see uh yeah the lowest it was it's 13 cents the highest it went you know before uh was three dollars and 88 you guys can see that this stock you know has been going down and from the looks of it it's not looking good right so in my opinion it's still a really good investment but there is a lot of risk and we're gonna talk about that okay so first things first yes and see over here that you know the sales you know for cannabis has been increasing this year uh because of the whole you know pandemic with the whole coronavirus uh but one thing you guys need to understand that this company is actually facing a lot of challenges okay and you know they had a lot of challenges this year a lot of problems but the most biggest one okay and it's possible that they're gonna have a reverse split now if you guys don't know what that is uh i do have a video here on my channel but i'll just say very quickly okay a reverse split think about it like this uh there is tesla tesla just had a split okay uh, you know, it was around 2,300 and then it dropped all the way to like, I think 450, 500, right? So that was a split. A reverse split would basically mean, you know, doing the reverse of that, okay? So a lot of companies do this. They do a reverse split or a split, you know, and most of the time when they do a reverse split, a lot of investors, you know, get, you know, kind of like, whoa, I want to buy this because sometimes a lot of these stocks are penny stocks. And then when they do a reverse split or a split, you know, whichever one you want to go with, you know, it's going to increase, you know, and it's going to look like a bigger, you know, company like, you know, it looks a little higher. Right. And then a lot of people are going to be interested and be like, wow, you know, wow, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Like, you know, yeah, you know what? I actually want to invest. So that's what a lot of companies do. If you guys go look at many other like oil stocks, you know, like UCO, USO, you can see the reverse split, you know, how many times they change it during, you know, the past 10 years. So it's something that a lot of companies do this. Right. But the only problem is a reverse split. Most of the time is seen as a weakness okay and from the looks of it quarter three wasn't even the best you know for some that growers stock they actually did not perform as well so what does this mean okay so one thing i really need to understand is that you know they really need to improve and increase sales you know if that doesn't happen from the looks of it there is going to be some issues okay and the issue that's going to be is it could possibly get delisted from nasdaq if you guys don't know this happened to a lot of companies in 2020 uh it happened to um Logan coffee it happened to hertz i believe it happened to jc penny if i'm not mistaken they're no longer if you look at them you know in robin hood weeble or any other you know brokerage they're not going to be there because nasdaq actually removed them so you know it usually happens when companies are doing are not doing very well and they're just removed and you know you guys since right here one of the biggest uh problems is the risk of delisting from the nasdaq if this happens you know it, it's very bad okay so you do not want to be part of this when it gets delisted so let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys think about this i hope you guys enjoy if you do give it a big thumbs up comment down below and i will see you guys on my next video